Hello, hello. Happy Friday, everybody. It's Friday. I'm Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. We're in my sewing room and it's Friday, a time to catch up and visit. What have you been up to? What have I been up to? Okay, not going to tease you. I have a new favorite t-shirt pattern. Totally. I'm wearing it. It's the Butterick 6848. I've made uh, several different t-shirts and this is my new favorite and I'm really just like loving it. Like it's, it's so fun to make uh, and I'm going to tell you why it's different. First of all, Butterick was on sale so I bought a bunch of Butterick's and I'm always looking for the best t-shirt pattern so I thought I would make this one. It's got a full bust adjustment built in. Do you know what that is? So some of us are not the average size, a little, little bigger like me. And I had to learn how to do a full bust adjustment. There's tons of videos out there. I won't be doing one because I've only done it like once or twice. So hardly an expert, but I will put up um, one for you to go look at. I'm trying to think which one I would show you, but I'll look and see the one I did. And um, it really wasn't hard. It was just changing the pattern. Sometimes these hacks on patterns are just like magic and the full bust adjustment is like magic so let's find the front first try front so this pattern piece you're not going to be able to see at all but basically this is the front so it looks like this okay you cut it on the fold and you get one piece of fabric right here now what they've done and i'm just going to show you since i know you can't see tissue paper one of the reasons I like to trace my pattern pieces onto regular paper is so I can see them. This has a line that goes from the center of the shoulder right here down to the bust at a pivot point right there and then it goes straight down. And then it has another line coming from the armhole to here and another line coming from the side seam to here. It also has a, a line three right here. So you can do all kinds of adjusting for your waist, for your bust, it can all be done. And one of the things I've learned, and I can't remember whose video, I want to put I want to put a link for this as well, is how to choose your size based on your size, not your measurements. Does that make sense? It's not going to make sense. So basically, I'm large for my frame. My frame is more like a 14, even a 12 probably. If I was in my perfect youthful size, I would probably be a 12 or even a 10. So I've been cutting out my patterns at 14. Whereas if I go by my measurements, I would be cutting out a size 22. Let that sink in for a moment. I was having problems with my upper body right here just not fitting. It would just be all bulky and huge and I'd have all this gaping. So what I learned was this needs to be a size 12 or 14 and everything else can be bigger. And this pattern allows you to do that. So I probably am going to make it for you. And uh, I just have to get figure out when to do that. And um, I'm really excited to share it because, oh my gosh, I just, this is, this is the pattern I want to do on my t-shirts. It's got the V-neck, which I love. It has a round neck option. It has short sleeves. It has three-quarter sleeves. It's just a great t-shirt pattern. And it doesn't say easy on here, but it is. I guess maybe if you're going to do a full bust adjustment, that seems complicated. And it's really not. So stay tuned. I'm going to make this and let you watch me make it. So I just put out a, a sew along video. And I hesitate to do those, you guys, because I'm not equipped. And what you really need to do a good sew along video, I think, is a, is a, is a crew. <laughs> you need an actual crew that knows how to film which I don't, but I'd like to do that because um, I think it's fun to watch somebody make something. You get all little aha moments along the way. And this one, I just followed the instructions, you guys. It was so easy. Love this. They have so many little tips here for this. This is like an education. This, this pattern is like an education. I'm definitely going to review it. Um, one change I would make it is these necklines, you know, they're they're finicky. And um, I follow Lifting Pins and Needles V-neck every single time she does the perfect tutorial. I would point you to that. But I think on this one, my neck piece needed to be a little shorter because it's just a little bit 
it wants to flop a little bit. So I think I just should have made it a little smaller. So I'm going to note that in my pattern. And sometimes you know what you're changing on your pattern as you're making it. And sometimes you have to wear it a few times. And I really didn't know that I wasn't going to like this floppiness until I've worn it. So now I'm going to go in and I'm just going to shorten my, um, my neck, my neck facing just a little bit, just a tiny bit, maybe. No, not that much. And we'll see if the next one is just all an experiment. Every single garment is a test. Um, this is a double brush poly. And I'm not sure where I got this. It could have been in one of my sewing haul, my fabric hauls. You can look through my fabric hauls if you like, or it could be Joann's. I love Joann's double brush poly. Um, I don't know what they call it, but they don't call it that. They call it, I don't know garment stretchy I'm not sure what they call it but you'll know that it's double brush poly it stretches both ways and they have it in a section and they have beautiful prints it's just they're pricey so you know you can't use a coupon because they got the sale always going and the sales still expensive I don't have a solution for that but I do love my Joann's fabrics um when I was cutting this out I used my new scissors oh my gosh I got these from Madame So. It was on sale for Black Friday, I think, or something like that. Anywho, these are a dream. Oh my gosh, that you just go around that armhole and that neckline, it's just like nothing. It's it's loud. <laughs> I feel like I'm using a table saw. But, oh my gosh, they cut so great. They just cut really fast, actually. And um, somebody said I might scratch my table. I don't care about my table. My table is a crafting table. It's already scratched. It's a hundred years old and I could repaint it. I'm not going to anytime soon, but um, I had no trouble. I didn't cut on this because I wanted to see, um, you know, when you get to these layers, sometimes I catch on this. So I went right over my table and I don't think it scratched it at all. I love the, these scissors, love them, highly recommend highly. So that's what I wanted to talk about today sewing wise and I did cut out my Harper Cardi so I will talk about that next week and um, if you're new to my channel I did put out a fun uh, easy to sew pants video and I think a few of you discovered my channel I want to say welcome 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 and I love coming here and chatting with you so please feel free to comment so I get to know you. I love that. We just have a great group here and read all the comments. There's some really great gals in here and great advice. I learn so much from the comment section and you will too. Just great. And you can even ask a question. People are reading those and if not, I'll see it and I'll ask it and we'll get that answer. I've had so many great, great, great learning experiences here. It's one of my favorite things about my channel is I've learned so much, so much about everything. That's pretty much it for the sewing here. It's been cold and rainy and oh my gosh, these cardigans have come in handy. So cozy, been wearing them and i um, going to make a couple more and then I'm going to switch to, I'm going to switch to not spring, but not winter. Basically, when I change out my wardrobe and I do, I change it out in the spring and in the, in the fall, uh, there's a certain section of my wardrobe that always stays. It's kind of what I think of all season clothing, t-shirts and certain pants and certain things that are just, they could be worn in the summer and the winter. If it could be worn in the summer and the winter, it stays. And those are the kind of garments I want to go into, you know, February, March, April with, and then we'll go to summer. That's my plan. So I'm kind of thinking about looking at my wardrobe and seeing what are the clothes that I keep. Um, kind of looking for another church dress. I'm so hooked on a couple of patterns right now that I just made over and over that I need another one. I need something new. Uh, so I'm on the search for that and, um, you know, thinking about, always thinking about what's next. You never know. And because it was cold and rainy, we all had that cold that just kept, went around every, did you guys get it? I had it. And the cough that wouldn't quit. And one of the things that happened is um you know you know if you don't know i love social media and i'm a big fan of tiktok i know everybody talks so bad about it but i like looking at it and when uh instagram and tiktok and when you look at one video a bunch of other videos just like it show up that's how my gardening obsession kept growing but one of them is home remedies i watched a home remedy for coughing because i had been coughing and a whole bunch of these like home remedies showed up and a couple days ago, I got soap in my eye really bad. Like it still hurts today. And I started thinking I needed to go get some eye drops. 
And I thought, there I go again. Always thinking medication, always thinking go to the pharmacy. What did they do before they had a pharmacy? So I Googled it and I got great advice. It was like saline, salty, salt water. So saline and then um, put a tea bag on it with maybe green tea and then um, a cold compress, hot compress. I put a hot compress this morning and it was like instant relief. I have a whole mindset to change. I wanna do more home remedies. Oh my gosh, I'm, I maybe need to do a video on home remedies just to get you guys to share your best ones so that they'll be in the right place. This might not be a place people would look for them. Should we do that? Do you guys have a bunch? Tell me if we should do that video. Um, I got some elderberry syrup from somebody local who made it with elderberries and I talked to my sister-in-law and she said she makes it and she'll show me how this fall when they're when they're ripe so I'm a yes on that and um, you know just a whole bunch of cool ideas for immunity and there's it's like mother nature so now I'm rethinking my garden plans to include some of these plants like what do people do for a headache because I always go for the Advil is there some tea I could drink or something let me know. I, I don't get headaches very often, but you know, people do. And I've taken Advil for almost everything. And I want to stop. <laughs> it's like, I'm not huge on medicine at all anyway. So don't think I'm popping those all the time, but it, it is something I would be my go-to and I want it to not be anymore. So a uh, whole new subject there. Maybe we should do a, a video where you guys can chime in with your, um, your grandma's recipes. I feel like my generation, and I'm, I'm a um, cross between a baby boomer and a Gen Xer. I mean, my kids are Gen Xers, so we can't be the same, right? But I was born in 59, so it's on the edge of the baby boomers, because a 49, born in 49, is also a baby boomer. So I feel like my generation, which was children in the 60s, we're the we're the last we're the first generation to medicate like everything's medicine it was all fancy medicine you know we had all the new commercials and my mom loved boxed foods like craft macaroni and cheese and hamburger helper oh my gosh tang do you remember that soda pop we did all of that in the 60s and in the 50s i don't think they did that as much the 40s for sure no so their generation had home remedies and our generation was already going to the drugstore for everything and it's in my mind to do that I want to change that completely it's like, I don't know how but I want that so calling on your grandma's recipes wouldn't that be fun uh, let me know if that's something you'd be interested in helping me out with that's it that's all I have to talk about thank you so much for stopping by I really appreciate it uh, subscribe subscribe the thumbs up comment like all of the stuff I'll see you next time bye now